On the Codex CLI side, OpenAI is making some moves. They dropped GPT-5 with the clear messaging that they want developers back. They even created GPT-5 Codex, which is a model specifically tuned for their CLI tool. And my early tests with GPT-5 in Cursor have been positive. The code quality is consistent, it feels snappy. So let's go ahead and take a look at Codex CLI and I'll give you my first impressions. So I'm just gonna start it up by running Codex. On the surface, right off the bat, it looks somewhat similar to Claude Code. Uh, it's a terminal-based interface. And just like Cloud Code, you can hit the slash key to see what the available commands are. Um, so I always like to check out the model. So we're on uh, GPT-5 Codex Medium. That's what I've been using, and I've, I've been pretty happy with the results. I think the low, medium, and high is sort of like a, a balance between you know speed and thinking level and, and that sort of thing. So I see init. That's another uh, familiar command that we've had in Cloud Code, which in Codex CLI will do something similar. It'll basically analyze my code base and then create uh, an agents.md files. Another familiar command is this compact command. It's a very similar function here in Codex. What it does is it lets you compact uh, the, a really long conversation and it'll automatically summarize what's been said so that you can uh, kind of refresh your context window. Now, as of today, in my view, there are two glaring gaps when I compare Codex CLI to what's available in Claude Code. And the first is subagents. Now, I did come across this pull request on the Codex GitHub repo, which looks like subagent support might be coming in the near future, and I really hope that it does. Now, the second is that ability to set up custom commands, and that's where I can define a set of custom commands to be available to me when I type the slash key. Now, the good news is that I see this PR on the Codex repo, uh, and they call it custom prompts, and this is actually already merged and available to use in Codex. They just haven't added it to the actual public docs yet. So my takeaway, at least for now, is that Codex is showing some promise, but it feels like it's a few steps behind Claude Code as a product. 